Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here and to tell you about um, some, uh, basically a description of the landscape, if you will, of, of genomics, as at least from the vantage point of the National Human Genome Research Institute at the National Institutes of Health. We are the institute that's responsible for uh, really the largest amount of funding for genomics research really worldwide in terms of a dedicated agency. 2010 is a very important year for many reasons. Um, back in June marked the 10th anniversary of the announcement of having in hand um, a, a draft sequence of the human genome uh, produced by the Human Genome Project. This was commemorated in various ways by uh, various professional journals. Come February will be the 10th anniversary of the publication of the draft sequence of the human genome by the Human Genome Project. And so it really is a, an important time to reflect on what has been accomplished uh, since the completion of the Genome Project, an endeavor I was involved in from beginning to end, starting actually as a postdoctoral fellow and a, and a recent medical graduate. Um, but also to think a little bit about where all this is going, what's the reason we did the Genome Project in the first place, and certainly something that our institute thinks quite a bit about. What I want to describe to you in, in, in really uh, reviewing that landscape, if you will, is very much uh, based on our focus on health. Uh, we are part of the National Institutes of Health. And the idea of genomics meeting medicine is not necessarily a new one. In fact, even before the Genome Project ended, um, both in the popular press and the scientific press, the notion of using genomics for improving medical care uh, really came to the forefront, giving uh, birth to uh, one of several phrases that's co commonly used, uh, genomic medicine in particular. Um, and by genomic medicine, which is a phrase I'm going to use, it means healthcare tailored to the individual based on genomic information. This is essentially synonymous with personalized medicine or individualized medicine. Uh, I just happen to use the phrase genomic medicine. And in thinking about describing that landscape, what I want to really give you um, is a view of a journey down a path. Uh, that path starts with the Human Genome Project and the production of a sequence of the human genome. And at the other end of that journey is the realization of genomic medicine, tailoring healthcare based on genomic information. Now, I will be the first to admit that I don't know all the steps that will truly be necessary for making us uh, traverse this slide from one end to the other. What I do know is that we were successful in executing the Human Genome Project. I feel we must be successful at realizing genomic medicine, and only if we have truly made this journey will we have filled the, fulfilled the promise of why we sequenced the genome in the first place. So I would just make the bold claim that, at least for our institute, and I actually think for the entire field of genomics, the central mission simply has to be to establish that path towards the realization of genomic medicine. And so that's the path I want to describe to you for the next 20, 25 minutes. Um, in th thinking about that path, though, I conceptualize it as basically being a journey where slowly but surely, as you move down step by step, getting closer and closer to genomic medicine, you are, in essence, accumulating data, genomic data. You're gaining increasing knowledge about the genome and getting insights about the genomic and genetic basis of human disease and how you can use that information um, for somehow tailoring and changing healthcare. And the metaphor I actually have found very useful for describing everything we have done since the Genome Project ended is basically a metaphor 